She might be, but you know what? The shitty as that is, dude, here's the thing. When you've taken responsibility for who you are and become the best, most authentic, real, incredible fucking man that you can be, she, she's with a bum, man. Because most men are not the ones commenting on my social media. Most men are sitting there blaming their wife and telling her she's the fucking problem. I had one guy message me today, no, my wife's a bitch. Well, I can see that you haven't grown up. Like, what the fuck, man? You know what I mean? Now, I get it. He needs a course. He needs to learn. So, yes, man. To answer your question, yes. It's possible. But you've got to just keep showing up. It does not mean we'll win every time, man. We can't control her. <clears throat> tell, me, tell me what you need, man. Where are you at? Um, I think my mindset's heading in the right direction, Cass. I, uh, you know, I love my wife. I miss my wife. I cry a lot, but uh, I understand that uh, life goes on one way or another. And, um, it's just tough, you know. The bed, as, as somebody said yesterday, you know, it's hard getting your head wrapped around uh, being in the bed by yourself. But uh, I'm starting to adapt. Um, you got on me yesterday a little bad, man, about some stuff that I don't think really – I don't think I did things nearly as bad as you talked at. You know, I, I saw mm -hmm. my wife and uh, I tried to help her out. I do not want to strand my wife. I do not want to do without, you know, helping her. I want to help her. I want to be a part of her life. I want to be a betterment to her life. I want to give. Yeah, uh, but, but hold I on. Don't want, I don't she... want to cut her out. I, I'm not saying that you need to cut her out. In fact, the very first instruction was provide structure for fixing your car, right? She's not coming at the time where you can fix your car. So you provide structure for the days and times that work. So you can do that, right? But the second thing you need to realize is this. doesn't matter how much you want to better her life, to be a better man in her life, to use your words, okay? You just also said you don't want to have her not in the bedroom. Well, she's not in the house right now, dude. So you can fix I'm the car when you... Ha I'm not saying get used to it. No, the plan is to go get your wife. What I'm saying is, so the mindset stuff, you are. You're getting way better at the mindset stuff. You're starting to really focus on what you need to do as a man. But when we get to something where it's like, this is like, oh, gosh, I want to fix this. That's what that is. It's this man in control. We're out of control. And we're trying to fix it. And you, yes, because you love her. Yes, because you want to make sure she doesn't get stranded. But, dude, it's been the same opportunity every week for weeks. She knows about the car. So it's it's not that I don't want you to take care of her. In fact, we use opportunities like that to show up. But here's where you're missing it. If you could just organize the schedule and provide structure, make a decision, make a plan, tell her what's happening. First and foremost, you're now a man. You're not her child. Okay? Secondly... You're, that's magnetic, dude. It's polarity. That's the magnet in the program. When you tell her what to do, right? Hey, I'm fixing your car. You need to have it here either Wednesday at 3 or Thursday at 5 or whatever. Thursday at 8 a.m., okay, so that you can I mean, fix the car. I wasn't, <clears throat> I wasn't ugly to her, but I did tell her. I said, you know, the weekends just don't work as far as having an opportunity to get your car fixed. It's going to have to be during the week, and you're going to have to figure out when. And I pretty much left this, it at that. So you, you did better because you kind of followed my instructions. But the problem is you're leaving it up to her. This is one of the massive problems that we have as men when we're having <clears throat> troubles is we are not providing the structure and the direction. You decide, honey. You tell me what's for dinner. You tell me when I'm fixing the car. You tell me when we're going on a date or how. Oh, you want to tell me when we're going to have sex? That's great. Thanks, baby. I'm here. I'm ready. Whenever you are, for whatever you want. You're not listening, dude. This is, this is why you felt like it was coming down on you hard. It's because I do see it. I've seen it with like 3,000 men in the last 16 months, right? It's it's normal, unfortunately. It's normal. And so you you did better than you would normally do. I want to – I'm going to – right on. This is good. You've made so much progress with your mindset and understanding that you made a good decision, right? Follow my lead. Handle it this way, but you, you're still reserved. You're still holding back. You're still being the William that's the, the needy desperate being available for you. It sounds like you're not, Question. right? Yeah, go ahead. Question. 
Yeah. She has a full-time job now, so I can't tell her when she can or can't bring the car. Think she does to have to make that decision. No, think back to the call. What's What did I tell you on the call the other day? <clears throat> I said, hey, I'm picking your car up on Wednesday. Actually, I didn't. I told you to tell her. Drop your car off Wednesday night when you're done work. I'm keeping it for Thursday and I'm getting it fixed. Provide the structure, the direction. You don't have to let her, you know, this is what we think. We think we don't want to invade the space. We think we don't want to interfere. She's, it's just because you're trained to let her make all the decisions and then you defend it or justify it, right? A a another example would be simple one would be dinner, right? When you're just like, well, whatever you want to eat for dinner, I actually don't care. Well, she does have to tell me yeah, when she's bringing the car, right? I have started. I have started making those decisions just because it's easier to make those decisions. Than the, yeah, even if I don't give a shit. Yeah, honestly, it, it's, if you think about it like this, like it's a little bit different because your kids are older. But if you think about it, like when she's making the decisions for herself, what do I want to <clears> wear? <throat> How am I doing my hair today? What do I want to eat? Am I following my diet today? Am I going to start with that workout program I wanted to? And then she's running around with the kids if she's got the kids. In your case, not so much. But maybe she's thinking about other things that she's got going on from work, right? Does she have to make decisions there? And now she's making all the decisions at home too. It's one of the main reasons women don't want to be with her boy anymore. She feels like his mom. So if you can start to make those decisions, then you start to become more of an equal, a partner. Second thing is when you provide structure for things that you want in the marriage, you do want her to know that you want to take care of her. That car getting fixed is clearly important to you for her safety. I don't blame you. So you provide the structure for where you want it to go. I want my wife to be safe. You, honey, you tell her, honey, bring the car over on Wednesday night. You can take mine. I'll take yours for Thursday, but I'm fixing your car Thursday. Now, if she starts to be difficult, that's because she's that's going to tie into the whole, well, she doesn't trust you. She doesn't think you're going to get it done. Maybe she's going to go to something silly like, well, you're just trying to see me again. I don't know. I don't care. I just know what we're doing. That's when you'd go back to what I said on the call as well, which would be like, hey, she's a big girl. She doesn't want to get her car fixed. Doesn't matter how safe you want her to be. Right? But starting to <clears throat> starting to teach her about safety and why and all this is just a lecture versus pillow talk. What do you want to have? Know, Ultimately want her to come home. Right. So we don't, I don't we really, don't get down that. I don't really understand mm -hmm. the pillow talk thing. I just use this as a metaphor. Understand, don't so, lick. Mm -hmm. Oh, you cut out, bud. I don't understand. I mean, I understand don't lecture. I, I've got that, you know, I've caught myself a lot and I, I just stop. But the mm. pillow talk thing, I really don't quite grasp. Uh, pi pillow talk is an expression <laughs> for once you've just had sex, now you're having pillow talk. You're laughing, you're cuddling, you're, you're having some conversation. That's pillow talk. That's an expression, right? So it's a it's metaphor. Fine. Would you rather be having... Would you rather be having a lecture or teaching your wife or would you rather be having pillow talk because you just had sex? It's supposed to provide an image of why why you don't want to be lecturing your wife or teaching her. Things Even if you don't she, have she sex, knows. you're just saying you're just playful and yeah. versus Yeah, ball yeah ball exactly. Ball. What yeah. It, It's more of a direction. Where do you want to be? That's why I present it that way. But actually, the lesson is really only on don't pillow talk. Or sorry, um, <laughs> Don't lecture her. You know, I like to, you know, I like in the reset, I like to tell us or remind everybody, we married a smart woman. Most of us don't want to be with somebody who's dumb, right? So somebody you're with is compatible intelligently in, on an intelligent level. And, and IQ is going to be something that resonates with you. So, but we get into this habit of trying to <clears throat> fix the relationship, express our needs, all these different things. And we just talk and talk and talk. Make sense? Yeah, she gave me the whole uh, we're not compatible thing a couple of times on Tuesday. And I, just, uh, I don't agree. Um, and I want to talk to you about something if you'll let me. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> if and when, and I still hold out hope that maybe some way God will intervene and she will drop this divorce case, but if she doesn't, and if by some way, and I'm just, it, it either goes we do or we don't get a divorce. I mean, it's only two options. 
once I hire an attorney and there's a response, I know that she's going to get nine counts pissed off. And I know you're going to say that doesn't really matter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You cut out. You cut out. Once you hire an attorney. Once I hire an attorney, which is going to be in the process of getting some money uh, acquired. Uh, once I hire an attorney and there's a response that I'm going to defend it. I mean, I'm trying to save my marriage and she, the process of that we're actually going to have to go see a judge is going to piss her off. She wants me to just sign the papers with the agreement with yeah. everything that she's asking for and Correct. financially, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, the whole damn gauntlet. I don't want a divorce. I'm not signing papers regardless. Even if it says she's walking away or giving me $100,000, I don't want to be divorced from this woman. Mm -hmm. I love her. And once. So, what's the question, she dude? Knows, once I hire an attorney, she's going to get 10 times more pissed off than she already is. And how do. How right. do we overcome? I love it. That's an <clears throat> that's an opportunity for you to show up with stat responses. You remember you were afraid because she doesn't live in the home, and you're like, "Well, when when am I going to have these opportunities?" I said, "We're going to find them. We're going to create them, and others are just going to happen naturally." Now, this is one of those times. She's going to be angrier than ever. Good. When you show up with your stat responses, you provide structure for where you're going, which is, "I'm not signing papers. I want to be in love with you. I want you to be in love with me. I want to have this wonderful marriage and life." That's the structure we're going. We're not going to say all that stuff. We're just like, I'm just, I'm not ready for that, babe. Listen, the judge can make you sign or order it granted anyways. So there's, it doesn't even matter. But that's not what she's going it's to tough. hear or realize, it, 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 right? It's tougher in Mississippi than it is most states. She's got, oh, a, is it? She's got okay. a hell of a case. That, she's got a hell of a case that she's got to prove. She has to prove her grounds. Interesting. I had no idea. That's awesome. I love it. So let her get pissed off and keep showing up and loving her through it. I understand, babe. I completely understand why you want this divorce. But don't just say it. Understand by taking responsibility for who you are, why she's upset, why she's leaving. And I mean who you were. Sorry, not who you are. I know right? every re you know? I know exactly why she left me. And I yeah. own it. I've fucked up. Oh, yeah. And I've tried so, to tell her that. Yeah, but but don't anymore. You've already done that. Now your actions, like when she loses her cool here, when she starts to act stupid yeah. because she's safe reacting to protect herself, when you show up as the man that I'm trying to make you show up as, then she's going to see that over and over and over again. <clears throat> Every single time she gets mad or more angry or comes over to pick something else up or comes over <clears throat> to see you uh, to get the car fixed. All of these are opportunities for you to show up. But when she's mad and she's acting poorly, that's your real good time to shine. That's when she sees, oh, wait a minute, he, this is different. He's not acting the way he used to act. In fact, wow, it's not like he just said he understands and he apologized because you're not apologizing for the things you've already apologized for. We're going to do more work, more action, less talk. Hey, we'll get to an apology later. We're going to use the reset. I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful apology. Later, first we show up so that the words mean something. And so this is awesome. Letter. What I think if you're if you go back to your question, like you're really worried about how to handle it, it's provide the structure. So well, let's run through stat. Okay. So we, we provide the structure. Babe, I understand. So the, the T is she's being triggered. We're gonna put those two together here. I understand why you you really want this. I can even understand why you're well really angry that I'm not signing it. See, I'm talking slow. I'm trying to think about my words. Okay. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to sign those papers, babe. I'm not going to be ready. I'm not going to do it ever. Judge Just, can do what he wants to, but that son of a bitch is staying there right there. <laughs> Don't worry about that right now. We already know that part. <laughs> You've got to make sure that you're focused and moving forward. Now, in this case, there isn't a lot of adventure, right? There's not. I mean, Depending on the environment, there might be something, you know, like you could, for example, even if she's super angry and screaming at you, right? When you're providing the, the S and the T that we just did there, the structure, right? Understanding what she's feeling, right? With the triggers. You might be able to like grab her hand and twirl her and say, look at this and put your ring up like you just did with me. Excuse me. Twirl her. I love you too fucking much, babe. And you see my tone's completely different than it was before. 
I love you too much, babe. Right? And then she's probably yeah. going to get even more angry. And that's the last T, where you have to stay consistent and keep doing the same thing. Wait. Tell me more about why this is so important, babe. You know all the reasons why I want a divorce. That's why I <clears> left <throat> you, son of a bitch. Kicks you in the balls. I don't know. I like to go worst case scenario. Oh, good one, babe. Ah, I did deserve that. You're right. I do know, but tell me more. She gave me the whole, you can't make somebody love you. And I just came back and said, well, don't have to make me love you. because I just do. Yeah. And don't do that. That's not a stat response. <laughs> See, you're trying to fix it. You're trying to prove to her that you love her, right? She she already knows, man. You don't want to sign the divorce papers. You're not being an asshole these days, right? So you got to understand what she's saying. She's saying you can't check the boxes, dude, because the past you hasn't checked the boxes. And so she's saying I can't be with somebody. I can't fall back in love with you. I've fallen out of love with you, Right? So be the fucking badass guy that you were in the beginning, but the married version that I'm going to show you to be and let her see that it is possible. For right now, there's nothing you can say, dude. Because she's not, I'm not going to fall for this again. That's what she's thinking. You can't fool me once, twice, ten times and expect me to keep coming back. Right? So there's nothing you can say right now. But if you stat respond, and if you can spin it to some fun, if she's a jerk when you're fun, who looks like the asshole? She, she does. She might think you're the asshole because she's thinking about who you were. It's triggering her. But that's why you're consistently running the track and you get out in front of the pace car. You lead her back. Make sense? It, does. it seems like everything I do seems to have a little caveat that I've fucked up. No, but, at, but let me encourage you here. Let me encourage you because you're this response that you just did was completely different. Think about who you were two weeks ago. You probably would have been bawling telling her that, right? Maybe on your knees. I don't know. I never heard of that you were on your knees, but that's the vibe I get, right? Please, baby, please. Your mindset is shifting so well now. Well, that's okay. I was. I, I threw myself on the floor. Like, trust me, I know what it's like. Be that that, that extreme, dude. That's one of the reasons why. I know you might think I'm hard on you, but I know which guys need to hear it the way I say it. And when you're me, so much of you is me, dude, who I was. So that's why I just know. And so I want to encourage you. You're like night and day from two, maybe even three weeks ago, dude. It's about four weeks you're in the program now, right? Four or five. Something Four or five, yeah. Shit, I'm, the days run to fucking gather these days. Man. This, this, of course, but this, this week especially, dude, the way that you're communicating what's happening with her or when you're saying this is what I'd like to do, you're like 65% of the way there, right? Like you took my advice, but you did it your way. Okay, we're still learning. No problem, right? But it wasn't the whole – just... No, out. that's okay. It's, so, it's because you're programmed, dude. I'm, I'm changing the programming that you have. That's all, right? We're one by if one replacing good... bad habits with good skills. Mm -hmm. If I did one good thing, and I know it kind of got to her, was I don't know what started it, but right after we were eating, through eating, um, well, what started? I don't know if it was me or her, but <clears throat> she started talking and venting. And I just sat there when she got through and shut up. And then she started talking some more and talking some more. And she kind of got through. And I shut up, stay quiet. And she started talking some more. And I'm like, holy shit. This actually might be considered progress. Dude, this is massive. This is her feeling safe enough for you in the safe or with you in the safe environment. This is the peace pillar, dude, where she can feel where she doesn't feel like you're just going to fucking fight back and push back and defend yourself. The only thing is, did you ask for more? Like, did you just shut up or did you say, wow, babe, like, I appreciate you sharing that. Like, 
can you tell me more about and repeat back what she said? I um, I told her I understand how you feel, and uh, pretty much you're right, and validated what she said. Okay. But I didn't. Okay. But okay she, so that's she, that. That's the level up there. The level up is asking for more about specifics that she said. Here's why. If you can if you can really understand what she's feeling, she'll and she feels safer, she'll tell you more and you'll uncover the real deep meaning behind the issue. The actual problem, the actual thing that she's mad about, the actual thing that's hurting her. So you did wonderful, man. So let's go back. I want you said if I did one thing right, I'm going to rewind you. No, buddy. Your mindset shifting is happening rapidly. I was a little concerned about the two-week mark in, you know, but look at the progress this week with the way that you've come along. I'm so impressed, dude. I'm so impressed. That's the first thing. Second thing is, yes, you scored huge. This is massive. This is you on the track, running consistently, and she's noticing. <clears throat> she's noticing, dude. So she felt safe enough to talk to you. And the only level up I can give you is when you're listening. I mean, right now, when you're listening – I want you to ask for more about the specifics so that the safer she feels, the more you learn from her and you understand <clears throat> and you can feel what she's feeling. Is that fair? Does that make sense? It is. Um, Good. And I don't know if I'm, I don't know if it's different or, you know, some, some guys may have a lot more complex and interesting. Mine's fairly simple. I got to stop drinking and, uh, And and she's got issues with, uh, I guess, my attitude, and, and I think drinking has a lot to do with that too. Well, what? Have you not cut out, have, have you not cut out the booze yet? When she when she delivered the divorce papers, I went on a binge for about two to two or three days. Uh, okay, when it I happens, when it there. happens. Okay, I'm glad you have it. Good. When that happens, you reach out to Lords right away. Say, I want a drink. There's guys like reach out to Maddie in there, like tag him at Maddie. He he's over drugs, like a lot of drugs. He was <clears> telling <throat> us on the call yesterday, and he was like, "I'll be there for anybody who wants it. Drugs, alcohol, you name it." He said, "If you could start it, if you could drink it, he did." And he 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 pledged that yesterday in Lord saying, "I will be there for anybody who who needs help with this." Okay, Maddie. Okay, but text to let us know in those. Let us. Let us know in Lords because when, when we know we can help you, we can try to walk you off the ledge, right? Okay. And and then as for the rest of it, even if it was not booze related, you just proved that that's not you anymore, dude. When you listened to her and she was safe enough to get everything out. So I want you to give yourself a massive pat on the back right now, dude. You are coming a long way in the program very fast. Okay. I know. I'm, I'm, it just doesn't always feel like I'm making progress because I still, I'm naturally an emotional dude, more than most guys probably. And uh, you are, you are. Yeah. The tears, okay. the tears, come fucking easy, dude. Yeah, I know. I was like that too, dude. When you start to own you and you're comfortable, it's a look in the mirror stuff we talk about. When you, when you love you, that will change. I promise you. Doesn't mean you won't be sensitive. I cry in more movies than Catherine. Whatever. You know, but the point is, like, you're not crying about life anymore. It's naturally, right? And I'm not trying to change who you are there. I'm just trying to gain control, right? That's how we are supposed right. to be as men, in control of our emotions, understanding our feelings. And that's why I call it man with impact module. It's man with impact. When you can make an impact because you're in control, right? I, uh... I'm going back to the reset again, and I'm back all the way up to uh, the rejection ladder. And I'm going to need some real guidance when it comes to the rejection ladder. Because sometimes I don't feel like even being worthy to even look at the son of a bitch. Yeah, so I right now you don't even right feel now, like I've got a baseline with her. Okay, so right now you're going to have to focus on man and control if you're not feeling like you're worthy. Man in control. And that's, so if you, you think about how I was talking to you on the call yesterday and the things I was talking to you about when I was saying approval seeking and you're like, no, 
no, no. That's that's what not worthy is all about. It's all tied together. Okay. So one more thing you could do, pick up No More Mr. Nice Guy, and then we got the exercises for you too. You do the exercises after you've read the book once. Okay, so you read the book a second time, and you do the exercises, and then we can start talking about shit. Okay. You, I'm losing you. Hey, are you back? You're back. Okay. Did you catch what I said? You catch everything? I did catch the end. You said no more Mr. Nice Guy and do the exercises yeah. after so, I read the book the first time. So I want you to go through Man in Control with the reset. And then I want, that's that's the part that where I was talking about you're not worthy. Um, yesterday when I was saying on the call how it looked like you were doing things for more approval and validation still. Will it work for her? You know, things like that. Manic control will address the worthiness, the approval. I can self-love, blah, blah, blah. Then on top of that, I want you to read No More Mr. Nice Guy. And I want you to do it, read it the second time with the exercises. You could do the exercises. They're in, in the community. You can grab them, download them. Okay. And then actually, actually they're in the reset too. Okay. I didn't really mean that I'm not worthy, like, of worthy of her or a good enough guy. I, I guess I more or less mean with our relationship, where it is, her being in one place, I'm in another, <clears throat> you know, I don't know how much the rejection ladder even applies to me right now. Oh, yeah, it it, it always applies. Because if you look at the bottom rung of the ladder, it's about your energy, right? You have to be in great tone, great spirits, leading the morale, right? So if that's the rung you're on, that's the rung you're on. But when you send out a conversation or, or initiate a conversation with her while you're having dinner, that's on the ladder, dude, right? When you send a nice message, a non-sexual flirt, both of those are on the ladder, right? I'm scared when I reply or respond after I have to get an attorney involved. I have a fear that she's going to cut off communication completely. Well, she might. She might. But what, that, what are you going to do? What are you going to lock her in the basement? You know, like you have to just oh, be stop and be real for a second. I know. I'm just being funny. You know, like the point is like what? What are you going to do? You're going to keep showing up and being the best fucking William you could possibly be. That's it. There will be opportunities. Do not worry. <clears throat> How do you show up? There's always opportunities, man. There's always opportunities, man. I mean, unless you have a restraining order, there's always opportunities. Okay? I don't care. One of the things I teach guys to do is mail shit or send Instacart orders. Like, there's two things right there. You know, there's going to be an opportunity. You said what? You know where she lives? Mail stuff? You can, you can mail shit. You can send an Instacart order to her house. You can put a note on her car at work. Man, there's like so many freaking things you can do. You can send a courier. You can send something with her kids. There's five and I haven't even met, met or don't even know your whole story. Uh, I've, got with, a, with all that. I've got a few cards set aside for maybe one day. Put a card in the rose in her car and just the same thing over Probably not, because that's what you've done. That's what you always do. So probably not. No, no, I, I haven't done. Oh no. I haven't. Okay. No, I've got a so couple of cards, you've never... and I'm thinking about something like that. That's not yeah, well, you, you can, like, but right now, keep in mind, the idea is to do it to work the rejection ladder. It's not to do it to get anything, to hold anything. Like, like, just keep that in mind, making sure that you understand it, so that you can stat respond and show up when she doesn't respond. Okay. Does that make sense? Well, I thought you just said put a note on the car, and I'm I was saying I was. Well, you can, you can. What I what I said is though, like uh, my first concern was that if that's what you had in your back pocket. That's what you always use. Man at play will explain how we're going to do diff things differently. Okay, but um, the second thing was, I you can do it, but the idea of why you do it is different. Okay, you're not doing it to so get anything. Just to tell her I love. Just to tell her that's right, and I'm no, not just making sure. And even if she does, yeah, it's cool. We're working our way up the rejection ladder. 
meaning we might still be on the, the same rung, right? Like a letter would be something from your lover's list, and then you put that in there, and it's just, it might be, it's showing all the why be, behind, you know, the, the, the reason that she did X, Y, Z, and that did what? Why do you think that's amazing? And you leave that there. But there's no expectation. The idea is I want you to challenge yourself to think of the goal is to be working the rejection ladder, meaning when she rejects it, ignores it, whatever she does, doesn't say thank you, you know, is disrespectful, is like completely like, don't ever fucking talk to me again. It's so that you can show up as this new version of you. Okay? Does that make sense? It does, but I may need some help with the... uh... That's okay, the yeah. of, of when we decide to hey send her a little something. Would Absolutely. Kind of. Absolutely. Kind of iron out what I say and. The first thing I we need to do is we'll do that for sure, William. But before we get ahead of ourselves, the first thing we need to do is get things like the way you provide structure with the car handled and under control. How um, you know when you're uncertain of what's going on with the weekend? Why did I tell you? Just make plans. Be busy this weekend, right? Like. I want you to get handle of those kinds of things first so that you're manning up a little bit, so to speak, before you start sending out the I love you's that she think is tied to the desperation or the neediness. Because she, she only knows the old guy right now. She doesn't know you're in her program. She doesn't know you're growing yet. She needs to see the changes. Does that make sense? It does. What would you suggest instead of, oh, just thinking about you, miss you? I mean, <clears throat> just more, just... Hey, touch and base. Hope everything's going well. Yeah, uh, I think right now because I mean, she know, wants, because she wants a divorce. Think about it. Is that going to actually do anything? No. So if you're going to do something like that, and you, I tell you to be you. You're supposed to be your most authentic version. So if you miss her, you should message her. But what I want you to do is like you're always driving. Okay, look at the billboards. Does something remind you of her that you can, you know, take a selfie with the billboard and then send her a picture? Is there a song that comes on? I haven't haven't seen anything recently, but I've been a little. Okay. But just keep something, just keep in mind. It's like, it could be anything. You know, I was, um, I don't know enough about your backstory, but like Bill was renovating his house for a while. And when I told him the same thing, I was like, dude, you could be at the hardware store and see a couple that's 80 years old and send her uh, a picture of them and say, that's going to be us. I can't wait, babe. I hope we're we're that happy buying hinges or we're going to be that happy buying hinges would be a better way to put it. Right. Uh, you know, and so you just have to look around, you know, you go to a restaurant by yourself with a good book, you're learning and you, you see her favorite food on the, on the menu. And you're just like, oh, damn, this got me circle it on the picture before you send it. You know what I mean? It's just cute, subtle. I love you. Or it's big explosive. Like, holy crap. Remember that trip in Mexico? Cause of the billboard or whatever. But it should be naturally you. Speak not because you're waiting to talk to her all day, because you should be busy. You should be valuable. You should have a lot on the go. Right? Okay. It's I've I've neglected a lot for a while, but I'm getting back in the saddle. So uh, and that helps too. It really does. We talked about that this week. <clears throat> the purpose, toughest fucking purpose. thing for me has been getting out of bed. It's just some days are hell. Have you talked to James yet? Not directly, no. You can you can talk to James. You can talk to Andy. I mean, James, Andy suffers from depression. James, I mean, he, he was going to kill himself when I met him, man. Like, oh, man, look, my mom asked me how the program was going. Mm-hmm. And I said, Mom, if nothing else, it's kept a fucking bullet out of my head. I didn't know you were that far down. I mean, I could suspect, but I didn't know. And so, yeah. Oh, man, yeah. It's, I sat it's, outside with a shotgun for couple hours one night man i'm sorry to hear that are you okay no. now though are you good now are you solid now or do we i'm have not to take... suicidal i made that... a i made a conscious decision that uh pulling the trigger keeps me from ever seeing her again so what's that accomplish i don't i don't like that mentality because if you don't see her ever again well, then i don't want to lose I'll, william i also had another friend tell me he said well if you do it said everybody that knows you that's the only thing they're ever going to remember about you and i'm not gonna be that guy yeah i like the way he put that wait till you see man with purpose we get to legacy dude 
how how far are you away from like from Mammoth Purpose, the module? <clears throat> um, I got about a quarter of the way through Man with Kids. And, okay, so uh, we're we're, we're and, a week and listening to a lot of the Zoom calls mm -hmm. and stuff. Yeah, I just uh, I felt like going back and going through the first three modules and getting a better handle of them might be the better they, thing. They, they are. I want you to do that like mad, but then next week, you you don't even need to focus on Man with Kids. Your kids are all grown up. So that's what they was said. You know, you 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 can you can still learn from them. In fact, it goes really well with Man with Impact, right? Because it's a lot of the same. It's just stacking. But I would lose that. Do what you're doing. The, the nice guy triangle from power, impact, and control. And then the moment purpose opens up, the moment it does, we're going to change your whole energy level, dude, because we're going to find everything. I haven't had any problem. I hear folks talk about that. I haven't had any problem opening any of the modules. They're not locked up? Yes, they are. That's impossible. They're locked up, dude. Until you get I, to I, a certain I'm point. I mean, maybe some of them are. I'm not trying to cheat or, or, or step ahead, but I've not like had any holdups yet. Maybe that yes. means maybe that means I'm behind further than I need to be. Uh, that that could be, but no. If you're on week five and you're on, yeah, actually you are. Week five is the last of the modules, so that you can just practice the rest of the ninety days. So and just keep implementing, implementing. So, yeah, you are behind. So let's get to work. Let's go. Okay. 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 I I want to revisit this mindset shift this strength i'm seeing in you dude you've come so much further thank you for opening up about about the, the shotgun this new guy I mean, doesn't need that this new guy is no, going I don't, forward I don't, like i said i mean you know what's it gonna accomplish i never you know my goal is to get my wife back and um, if i did some shit like that there's no getting anybody back no getting anything back no seeing anybody again so anybody that's, just, that's right and there's no will that's, just, that's right so let's let's make sure that if you have any thoughts at all, even if they're just sad, it doesn't have to be about killing yourself. If you're just down because you are emotional, you get into Lords and you see if anybody will chat. Okay. I appreciate the chats with you. I'd love to revisit whatever you want to revisit whenever you want to revisit it, man. Because like I said, I got a lot of uh, belief in you, and uh, I, I do sometimes have issue with the whole for yourself thing because I got into this thing because you and Catherine and the go get your wife and I was like hell fucking yeah that's where I'm going and I, I love it uh, you know, just uh, don't you know I, I won't I get the concept I understand wholly I got to be a better me for my wife to want me so I, I get that and I'm going to do that but I wouldn't be doing this shit just for a self improvement or better job or you know all that shit. I'm I'm doing this because I want my relationships to be better. A lot of men are like that. A lot of men are like that, and that's the thing. Relationships. Your wife is just the racing stripes on the car, man. But every relationship is going to be like the turbocharger. It's going to be like the exhaust. Like, you know, you're the big bad race car that's running consistently on the track because you're proud of who you are and you like winning the race. You know what I mean? That's all. So maintain it, maintain it. Okay, I'm going to let you go. I got to go to the family, but I want to say one more thing. You have my cell phone. So lastly, if ever you need to reach out faster, I know you guys all respect my, my private number, but don't ever feel like you're alone with these bad, dark feelings. You understand? I'm not going to abuse that, but if I ever get in the spot, I appreciate that. Absolutely, man. I'm gonna ask a question. You're gonna get pissed at me, yeah? but you know, you believe that this is still with the shape I'm in and close to the horse proceedings as I am, but I still have a real chance of getting this woman back. I believe, same as I tell everybody, dude. I believe, yes. If you think about Corey, his wife was living in another man's house. That's worse than divorce papers, dude, because she's already with someone else. Like with with, with. she might be, but you know what? The shitty as that is, dude. Here's the thing: when you've taken responsibility for who you are and become the best, most authentic, real, incredible fucking man that you could be, she, she's with a bum, man. Because most men are not the ones commenting on my social media. Most men are sitting there blaming their wife and telling her she's the fucking problem. 
I had one guy message me today. No, my wife's a bitch. Well, I can see that you haven't grown up. Like, what the fuck, man? You know what I mean? Now, I get it. He needs a course. He needs to learn. So, yes, man. To answer your question, yes, it's possible. But you've got to just keep showing up. It does not mean we'll win every time, man. We can't control her. I, I wasn't there when you were explosively drunk and stupid. I don't know if she wants to forgive that. But I do know this, that you can show up as a man that's not like that anymore. And she loved a, the guy that that she the, there was a man that was not explosively drunk on her from day one that she loved. Now we're going to be even better than that guy. Well, she told me it's, she loved me, but she hated that monster I turned into. And not a yeah. monster like I was hitting her or abusive, but... No, not like me. Con- you weren't bad con- like me. Con- yeah, that's most men. Most men weren't as bad as I was. Most men weren't. You just said stupid things and raised your voice and lectured too long and maybe smashed a wall or two. That's most dudes, right? But then there's dudes that were on some version between you and me. Most aren't even as bad as me, but some could be more aggressive, you know? But the reality is pick up what you just heard her say. I love you. I don't love that guy. Well, there was seven of me. That's what we used to joke about. Why do you think I'm cast and not Ryan? Right? Ryan was Ryan was the abusive asshole who couldn't get any action. Okay? That, so that was the, I was uh I was a needy drunk or drunk that became needy. And yeah, you know, it was usually about sex or something there close. And uh, so a lot what of times do you think the, the argument, but I wouldn't let it go. So what, well, that's usually what we do, right? Because we're pissed because we're not getting any action and she's not, doesn't want us. We don't feel good enough about ourselves. We want to prove that we're so great. Only we just undermine how great we can be. But what do you think the answer to your question is? Is there a chance if you're not that guy? In fact, we're not going to replace drinking with not drinking. We're not going to replace, you know, those kinds of encounters and conflict with no conflict. We're going to replace it with fun. Here's an example. So you have an awkward dinner. Start fucking having some fun have some questions prepared pull up the Gottman app if you want right you'll see all this stuff a little bit later but like when we could prep you on a call before you get to that module unless you're behind then the thing is like you you set the tone we don't replace the the good with the bad we replace the bad with the freaking incredible phenomenal and great you know what i mean and so yes you have a chance and i would like to but i don't think I can just see her me pulling the cards out through this slide. No, it won't work. No, you're absolutely right. It won't. But there are people that you both know. And when they see the difference, who do you think they're going to tell? Oh, her. 100% her. Start Starting with her kids. Anybody else you both know? The way you post on social media. It'll change people's perspective of you. First, they'll think you're full of shit because that's what people do. They, they fake it. But then they're going to realize that you're a lord without knowing you're a lord. And they're going to realize that you're somebody different. And they'll see it from when they challenge you, which is them running into the side of your car. And then they're going to tell her, dude, so yes, you have a chance. Just don't have a lot of common friends outside of our relationship. <clears throat> well, you st- worst comes to worse, you still have her pissed off every time she wants you to sign the papers. Birthdays, anniversary, her favorite Tuesday, Taco Tuesdays, her favorite, whatever. Send her a fucking taco. There's so many things that we can do. You don't rush it. Right now, I'm pulling you back because I need you to, to own you right now. So you gonna help me when it's time. The fucking rights we are. Don't worry about it, man. It's part okay. of the program. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're not alone, man. Okay. Lots of men come with their wives that are that are out of the house. Lots of have the wives that are separate rooms. Lots have affairs going on. And lots are also, it's like, that's like 60% of the guys. And the other 40% were like great roommates. And we think marriage is great, but we're actually not having intimacy and sex. And so obviously nothing's as good as you think. That's it. It's like 60-40, right? And none of it scares me, man. So- I've seen it all now tired of it i'm so tired it's damn near it's right at 11 months since i touched i mean i, I gave her a back rub the other night and a foot rub and all that but i haven't had sex with another woman in 11 months 
and it's fucking tired. I can understand that. Just you know, you're you're and I'm gonna not find it. Not and cheating. It's just no. I understand. It's, it's hard. You gotta understand when you can let go of that. Like I understand we all have needs and all that shit, but like when you just let go of the of that providing the direction and structure for you, then you get to start leading. So you start with leading you, and then we lead her. Okay. Yeah. yeah so, so you gonna help me when it's time. I, I got that comfort, so we'll move forward. Absolutely. And also think about it like this, like it's not like when it's time. Like you're gonna keep coming on the calls, you're gonna keep telling me what's going on, and we're still gonna we might I'd be like, ooh, this is a good time. Right. This is what I want you to do. Or I'll sometimes ask you guys, I'll be like, so what are you doing about that? Will. Right. But usually I just tell you what to do. Just let's get it handled. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And then later you'll start to, to think of these opportunities on your own, come up with them on your own. And then you'll start to question, ask, what do you think about? Right. Okay. So regardless of how this paperwork and judges and lawyers and all the bullshit, we're going to figure out a, path forward yeah first things first the pro first things first the well we already are doing that dude but the first thing the, the program is about you you'll see you just like well even when you're watching man at home man with kids right think about it think about how much i'm talking think about man with impact how much am i talking about her it's all you're already doing the plan to get her back it's not about giving her a note dude it's not i promise you no amount of flowers and cards or any kind of gifts are ever going to work. First, we stop things like talking about it. Happy wife, happy life. All that shit. Then we start showing up, creating a safe place for her to feel. This is peaceful now. Cool. Now we can work on being partners. Is that harder when she's not at home? Yes. Is it impossible? No. Because you can provide structure with man with control. Right? For any interactions that you do have. And show the impact. Then we can get our energy on high from purpose, which you haven't seen yet. And then when we're a man at play, we're going to introduce these kinds of things that you're talking about. But it's not like just flowers, cards, and sticky notes. Okay? Because none of that shit. I have a whole lesson in there you'll see. I'll, I'll categorize it as romance, okay? And it'll be like, none of this is going to work. It's, that's to get her attention. But if she's not even looking your way... Wait, what are you going to do? Jump up and down and be the desperate needy guy again? Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, well, it, that's, that's what I'm facing, you know, just to get her just baseline, give a shit. Listen, I don't love doing boundaries, but by not signing the paperwork, that is a boundary. One of the fastest ways, and I'm going to clarify this so that you really understand, we don't do boundaries unless we have to, ever. Inspire, lead, invite or ask, however you want to call it, and then motivate with boundaries. Boundaries are for you. What's the boundary here with the divorce paperwork? I want to be married. I'm not willing to do that. One of the fastest ways to gain respect is to follow through on your boundary because you haven't followed through. Every time you told her you weren't going to drink anymore, for example. I'm not going to yell at you anymore, baby, for example. So one of the fastest ways to gain respect is to show up, stat responding, no matter how angry she gets. That's why I said earlier, she kicks you in the fucking balls. Is to show up and follow through. And what's the boundary? The boundary's not for her. The boundary's for you. I love her. I'm not doing a paperwork signing party here today. No, thanks. But then you stat respond and you love her through it. Yeah, I should be angry. Get ready to do a bum butt and have some fun, twirl her around, see if you can piss her off even more. Maybe you'll break her out of the mood. That's what happens sometimes. That's how fast it can be. Because this is not normal. Who are you right now? You want her asking questions like, what, are you drinking again? And you grab onto her or give her a big kiss and go, nope. Oh, get off me. But she smelled your breath. She knows you ain't drinking. Like, dude, yes, I'm going to help you. First things first. You need to okay. get through the program. You need to show up, own That's you, fair. just take responsibility for you. Okay. You got it. But your you your it. mindset is like it's night and day already, dude. We're we're gonna be okay here, dude. Some of the things that the you're the only thing of, I know I got right. Yeah. The only thing I know I got right is I've learned to listen and shut my mouth a little more. And uh the fact that it don't matter what happens. Divorce, no divorce. I'm not I'm not quitting on this woman. 
she's the last woman I'm going to. Just that's it. sure, sure, but it's not quitting on you. That's the point. If she thinks you're doing this for you, for her, I mean, you will push her away. Nobody fucking wants somebody to change for them. I'm not telling her I'm doing this. I know. I'm just being me. Yeah, but it's like when guys are in the program are talking about how I had no expectations, but I'm just so bummed out that I didn't have sex. Uh, yeah, that's you didn't have sex because you had expectations. She can smell it. You're bleeding them onto her right now. She can tell you just want sex. She can see your poutiness. It's stacking rejections, right? Same sort of thing. It comes from the mindset, dude. I need you to own it. If you have to tell yourself every day, I'm doing this for me. I'm the racing car. She's just the stripes. Tell yourself every day, okay? I think she sees something going on. She just doesn't know what it Don't worry. Is. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, because that will fuck you up. That will fuck you up if she, if she doesn't notice or doesn't say anything. Don't worry. Trust me. Just trust the process. Okay. All I'm saying, I think she does notice. I'm saying, don't worry about it. We're not affected whether she does or doesn't. It doesn't affect the Fair process because the process is for you. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, man. Love you lots. See you soon. Okay. Love you, bro. Have a good day. Okay. Bye. Hope, hope, hope talk to you.